Okay, good day. For today's lesson, we have simplifying expressions with rational exponents. So basically, when we say expressions with rational exponents or rational, this word simply means fraction. Meaning, you will encounter today or this in this video uh, expressions with fractional exponents. So basically, before we have this kind of topic, you need to remember the different laws of exponents and then how to operate or how to perform operations and fraction. So let's review first the different laws of exponents that you need to remember. So we have here x raised to m times x raised to n. In this law, since the bases are the same, you just need to add the exponents. And for the second law, we have x raised to m all over x raised to n that is equal to x raised to m minus n. All you need to do is just subtract the exponents. And then for the third law, we have power of powers, x raised to m raised to n. All you need to do is simply multiply the exponents. And for the third law, we have your negative exponent law, x raised to negative m. For us to make the exponent positive, all you need to do is to interchange or change the position of your expression. In this case, the position of this expression is in numerator. To make it positive, you need to change the position into denominator. So the answer here is 1 all over x raised to m. Now let's start simplifying expressions with rational exponents. I have here two examples and then later on I will show you another two examples. So we have here x raised to 8 raised to 3 all over 2. So as you can see, we have a single base here which is x. And then the exponent of x is 8. And then it also has the exponent of 3 over 2. So first thing you need to do is to identify which law of exponent is you're going to use? So, I think for the first, for our review recently, we need to use the, the law of exponent power of power. So basically, in since the exponent here is a rational exponent or a fraction, we need to put a denominator of 1 here in the exponent of x. So what you're going to do is simply multiply the exponents. So we have here x raised to 8 all over 1 times 3 all over 2. Simply multiply the exponents. And then, to multiply it or to simplify it, you can cancel out 8 and 2 or you can simplify 8 and 2. This is 4 and this is 1. So you have 4 times 3, your base is x, we have 12, and then 1 times 1 is simply 1. So the answer here is x raised to 12. And then for example number 2, we have 8 b raised to 6, and then the exponent of this whole expression is 5 all over 3. This is a rational exponent. And then we have here two bases. So ang gagawin lang po, all you need to do is to distribute the exponent. So in 8, we have here 8 raised to 1 times 5 over 3. You have 8 raised to 5 all over 3. And for the second base, which is b, you have b raised to 6 times 5 over 3. And then for this time, you need to express 8, in which you will think that the exponent of the other number will be 3. So you can express 8 as 2 raised to 3. And then multiply the exponent 3 by 5 all over 3. And this one, for this case, you can eliminate 3, this should be 1, and your 6 will be 
two. So we have now b raised to 10 because you can multiply 2 and 5 that is equal to 10. Now for this part of the expression, you have 3 here and 3 here. You can eliminate it. So you have this exponent of 2 as 2 raised to 5 and then your b raised to 10. In this case, you can we cannot allow 2 raised to 5 as our final answer. You can simplify 2 raised to 5, and 2 raised to 5 is simply equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, and then times 2, 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32, v raised to 10. This is the answer for that example, 32, v raised to 10. Now for examples number 3 and 4, so still, this one is an exa these are examples of rational exponents. So let's start with number 3. We have here p raised to 3 all over 2 raised to negative 2. In this case, we need to apply power of powers. And later on, we can apply negative exponent rule because one of the exponents here is negative. So since this one is a whole number and this is a fraction, you can put 1 here to have 2 fractions and then this is a power of power all you need to do is to multiply the expressions or the exponents so we have p raised to 3 all over 2 times negative 2 all over 1 in this case you can eliminate 2 then you have here 1 so we have here 3 times negative 1 which is negative 3 so you have p raised to negative 3. Again, 3 times negative 1. And then we have here 1 times 1 that is also equal to 1, meaning the expression here is just p raised to negative 3. And then since our exponent is negative, all we need to do is make it positive. So to make it positive, you need to, to change the position of your expression. Since this one is in numerator, we need to transfer out or transfer the position into denominator. So the final answer in example number 3 is simply 1 all over p raised to 3. This is the answer. Now let's move on to example number 4. In example number 4, we have here 3b raised to negative raised to 1 half times b raised to 4 over 3. We have here two bases. One is 3 and then the other is b. In this case, we have the same base as b and then we have 3 and then all you need to do is simply add exponents of b. So you have 1 half plus 4 over 3. Now, for us to simplify these exponents, all you need to do is add ex the fractions. So, what you're going to do is like this one, 1 half plus 4 over 3. Next, the LCD of 2 and 3 is 6. So, you have 6. 6 divided by 2, which is 3, times 1 you have 3. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2 multiplied by 4. The answer is 8 plus 8. So you have here 3b raised to 11 all over 6. This is the answer. So that's it for simplifying expressions with rational exponents. I hope you can you learned something from this video and then put, uh, put something on your in our comment section if there's something wrong with my solution or if you want to clarify some of the items here so thank you I am teacher gone and then please subscribe to my channel thank you